We're not the only ones who tried out for that part. Half the school was there. Yeah, but you two were the best. Well, come on, I didn't even have anything prepared. You did a nice job of copying me, though. I didn't copy you. You used my song and my music. It's not your song. It's the one I prepared. The one I knocked out of the park? Hey, come on, you both did great. And like my mom says, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Oh, Des. No, it's fine, Matthew. I don't need to imitate anybody. And Mariah didn't steal her wrist from Whitney. Excuse me? You heard me. Okay, you were the best. You were the most prepared. You get the part. I don't care. Like I need you to give it to me. You obviously think you do. I can win that part on my own. Fine. Fine. After Jared died, um, you know, John, he's really been there for me. I mean, whenever I needed him. And I just thought, I thought I could return the favor, and so I hooked up with Brody and sprung him out of jail. And then there was the accident. Yeah, I heard it was bad. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was pinned. And, and Brody was able to get out. He went to go look for Jess, but then John and I ended up in this cabin all by ourselves. I mean, and I was a little out of it, but the point is, I kissed him. But he kissed me back. And Christian, I, I can't get this out of my head. I get, it's all I think about it. And I, I know, I know he's with Marty, and I know that they're going to have a kid, and I just, I can't, I can't stop wondering what, what would have happened if Marty didn't get pregnant. Does that make me terrible? No, no, look, that's totally normal. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, thinking about the, uh, what ifs in your life. Is that what's going on with you and Jess? You're just thinking about what might have been? Todd Manning only looks out for number one. I know. Todd. I've known him for a long time. I know who he is. I know what exactly he's capable of. But, I mean, I think in this case, he was really just trying to be nice. <laughs> Manning's nice when he wants something. All right, so what possible motive could he have for helping me find out who murdered my mother? I don't know, but I guarantee you there's something in it for him. Why don't you let me take you to Danny? That'll make you feel better. In other words, let you use me to get next to my daughter? Our daughter. Yeah, that's right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you hear anything about my client, Skylar Joplin, would you give me a call, please? Sure thing. Thanks. Bingo! Skylar Joplin's your boy, and my sister Leah raised him. Skylar's mom's name was Leah. Leah Joplin, I read the paper. She was an OB. She worked at the hospital. She shot herself. Said your sister killed herself. She blew her brains out. I underestimated you, Rox. You're actually using your head for more than your hair. Skylar Joplin. That's my son. Come on, Gigi. Hey, look. Look, look at this. Skyler, no. I want to go home. Can we please just stop all this? All, Gigi, all of this? It's about, it's about us. Okay? Take, take off your clothes. Come on, take off your clothes. I'm, I'm going to make love to you. Well, they're obviously in there. Drop those cars out back. They got a fire going. Yeah, he's on. Gentlemen, we're going to do this by the numbers. I don't want to hurt you, Skylar. But you have to hear me. This is not going to happen. It's over. Yeah. We had our moment. It's not coming back. You love me. I know you love me. I know you I do. don't want to sleep with you. You're really creeping me out. Just please take me home. My oh. son is, is going to be worried about me. Oh. Skylar, what are you doing? I... There's nothing left for me now. No, 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 what are you talking about? Skylar, like you're a doctor and you're gonna meet someone. You're gonna meet somewhere else. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to practice medicine now. And, and there's nobody I want. You're the only one. No! 